Has this ever happened to you? You're working out hard, you're eating healthy, looking at nutrition labels, tracking macros in MyFitnessPal. You know the drill, you're crushing it. Then one day, you decide to have a cheat meal, so you door dash it up. It's a delicious breakfast burrito, but we have a problem. There's no nutritional info. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna call the restaurant and ask them for weights of all the ingredients? No, because you're not a psycho. Well, what if I told you that the archaic practice of tracking macros and calories is a thing of the past. What's up, Superhumans BT here. I almost fell out of my chair. Listen, this is an interesting little fitness tracker. This is the Gobi 2 from Hilby, and as Gobi calls it, or sorry, Hilby calls it, they don't call it a fitness tracker, they call it a life tracker. And it does something no other fitness tracker I've ever seen does, and that's automatically track your calories. And I don't mean like calories that you burn. I mean, almost every fitness tracker does that now. No, I mean all the food you eat, all of the calories that you consume, this automatically tracks it and even breaks it down into macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and fats. How on earth does it do that? Great question. We'll get into that here in just a second. As I said earlier, Gobi calls this a life tracker, and so it does track a bunch of different metrics that you experience throughout life. Uh, I don't know a better way to say that, but it measures hydration and dehydration. So when your body needs water, it will tell you to drink. Uh, it will measure your steps. It'll measure your heart rate. It'll measure stress. It'll measure your sleep and your weight. So seeing that this is a life tracker, I wanted to test it. And what better way to test a life tracker than do life things like go on a road trip? Because let's be honest, road trips are notorious for throwing you fitness and health curveballs. Plus, I also got a new camera and I'm really excited to test this out. So why don't we head on out to the Pacific Northwest? I'll shoot, uh, shoot everything we do and then we'll come back and we'll discuss whether or not this is a fitness tracker, a life tracker you should be investing into. What's up, y'all? Oh, so, Pacific Northwest is amazing. The new camera is amazing. The Gobi 2, not so amazing. I wrote some things down, things I wanted to talk to you about. Let me bust out my iPad. There we go. Let's talk first about the things that I do like about the Gobi. The first thing is the price. It was 116, 117 bucks, I think. So quite affordable, especially when you consider all the cool stuff that it can do. The second thing that I really like is that it's waterproof. I can take it in the shower. I don't have to worry about it getting water on it and ruined. Uh, and then the last thing is that there's a new version out and all of the things that I don't really like might be solved with that. Who knows? So what are the issues that I had? Well, the first major issue were, were the connection issues. It seemed like when I hopped onto the app, it almost never connected. It was never connected. It always had to sync. So waiting for it to sync, just if I wanted to see stuff like more in depth stuff, I couldn't. Now it does have a display. You can see this. If I press it, 
the display will show you a bunch of different things. So let's go over that real quick. So I've got my time, 1141. If I press it again, this gives me battery life. It's at 28%. Now this isn't a great display, but it does the job. Uh, pulse, it's saying 66. Energy balance is at negative 65. So that just means I've burned 65 more calories than I've taken in. This says I'm at 209 steps. Get into that here in a second. 0 0.09 miles is what I've walked. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see. So some of this stuff is hard to understand. We're gonna get into that. So it's got a display. The second problem is the fit. Uh, you guys already make fun of me for wearing my, my Whoop super tight, but the Whoop is pretty comfortable even when it's really tight. And fit wise, they should leave an imprint on your wrist, like from the thing clamping down. Now this is just uncomfortable. Like it really digs in and it left an imprint, but it's also just straight up uncomfortable. And then to put it on, I gotta buy it, pull it. And then you're constantly trying to find one of these damn holes to connect into. And you think you got it and then it pops off. There we go. I just don't like the band. The connection, uh, the fit is not great. I don't really care for that. Now, notifications. Uh, let's go over the two notifications that I got most often, and that was the drink and emotion notification. Neither one of these seemed to correlate with what I actually needed or what I was actually feeling. So this is Russian made, and it is very Russian with how it gives you notifications. If you're dehydrated, it gives you one blunt, aggressive haptic, and it says drink. <laughs> Now where I say it doesn't feel like it coordinated, I was super well hydrated Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I drank so much water. And it seemed like every five minutes, this thing was giving me a notification to drink. Up to the point to where I was peeing so much my kidneys were starting to fill it. So I was overly hydrated. But on like Sunday and Monday, I was super dehydrated. I didn't drink anything and I never got notifications. I, I think I got like one and it was it just didn't feel like it was cord, uh, correlated or coordinated to what I was actually feeling. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. I'm going to be honest. This one was weird. Like there's no way any of this is right. On Thursday, my maximum heart rate got up to 83 beats per minute and my minimum was 48. Maximum 83. That bag was completely full of gear and clothes and probably weighed close to 40 to 50 pounds. One of the very first things we did is we got to a waterfall and to see the, oh, like the, the viewpoint of the waterfall looking down, you had to go up some insanely steep switchbacks. Now we didn't go up all of them, but with a 50 pound pack, going up that, I guarantee you my heart rate was above 140, only 83 on here. The other days, same pack situation, lots of the same hikes, it only got to 95, it only got to 106, it only got to 106. There's no way any of this is right. And if this isn't right, then how it's assuming you're burning calories also probably not going to be very accurate either. Huge discrepancy here. Massive discrepancy in steps. At the end of Friday or Saturday, we looked at steps and I compared with my buddy Ryan. We did the exact same things. Ryan even commented, if anything, you did more because I was venturing off back and forth setting up cameras and whatnot. So Thursday, I got 13,394. Friday, 20,821. Saturday, 20,873. Sunday, 13,603. Now the last thing is the calorie intake, right? Like this thing sells itself on automatically tracking your calories and your macros. And just like everything else, I found a huge discrepancy there. Thursday, I consumed nothing but things with barcodes. Like I wanted to make it really easy to track and measure because I knew I wanted to do this test. So lots of things with barcodes scanned everything into my fitness pal. I got 134 grams of carbs. 103 grams of fat, protein, 119 uh, grams of protein. But if I go into Hilby for that day, 
I was at 106 grams of fat, 253 grams of carbs, protein 97. I think it's really cool. And again, with that third version, maybe it's way better and it's more accurate. But at this point, it's not accurate and it's not accurate enough that even at 116 bucks, like I just won't use it. Charging, the battery life, the fit, to me, this is not a great device. I really hope that the third version is improved. As I said, I've only worn it for two weeks, so maybe I've got to do more tracking, but so far I haven't really enjoyed the process. Now, do you have any questions on fitness trackers? because I would like to do a, a live stream and answer all those questions. Aura Ring, Whoop, the Hilby, the Apple Watch, the Fitbit Sense, the Amazon Halo, the Wise Watch. I've used all of those. I can answer all, all of your questions. So if that's something you would like to see, let me know in the comments down below. If you like the video, please hit the like button. It's kind of how the channel grows. So if you want to see the channel grow, if you want to see me produce more videos, hit that like button. But if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button too. Any data is good data. And if you like content that's going to help you move, feel, and perform better, both mentally and physically, We've come to the right place. That's what we do here. So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.